Stand in Tadasana. Keep the toes and the feet and the ankles together, touching each other. Tighten the kneecap and lift the knees up. Keep the spine erect and the chest well lifted. Extend the arms down by the sides of the trunk and roll the shoulders back. Keep the head and the neck straight and look straight ahead. Then exhale, extend the arms straight forwards and up above the head, going to Urdhva The upper arms should be in line with the ears, the palms facing each other. Keep the wrist and the fingers extended. Look up and check that the palms are facing each other and then look straight ahead. And then slowly with the next exhalation bring the arms down to Tadasana. shoulders back, stand straight, now bend the right knee for Rikshasan, catch, the, catch and hold the right foot, take the knee out to the right side, place the sole of the right foot high on the inside of the left thigh and the toes pointing downwards. Keep the left leg straight and firm. Then extend the arms straight over the head, palms facing each other. And bring the palms together to Urdhva Namaskaras. Keep the head straight, look straight forwards, Exhale and lower the right foot on the floor. Take the arms down and bend the left knee. Catch hold of the left foot and take the knee to the left side. Place the sole of the left foot high on the inside of the right thigh toes pointing downwards, keep the right leg straight and firm, extend the arms up over the head, palms facing each other and bring the palms together to Urdhva Namaskarasa. Keep the head straight, look straight ahead, then exhale, lower the left foot down to the floor, Take the arms down to the side and stand in Dhanasana. Roll the shoulders back. Keep the hands in front of the chest. With the shoulders rolled back. Inhale. Exhale and jump four feet apart. Keep the feet parallel and toes pointing forwards. Lift the knees and keep the thighs back. Lift the trunk, lift the chest upwards and roll the shoulders back. The arms are extended towards the side and keep the elbow straight, palm facing down and the fingers are extended. Keep the head and the neck straight, look straight forwards. 
They turn the right leg to the side, tie and foot 90 degrees to the right side. And turn the left foot slightly in. Check if the, that the middle tie at the middle of the knee and the middle of the ankle are in one line. As the leg rotates to the right side, you have to resist with the whole trunk, not following the turning of the right side. So the abdomen, the trunk has to turn in opposite direction. Keep the head, the middle of the throat, the center of the chest and the navel in one vertical line. Then exhale, extend the side trunk, place the right hand down on the right shin bone near the ankle. Place the left hand on the waist with the elbows bent and turn the chest and the waist towards the ceiling. Then extend the left arm straight up in line with the left shoulder. Both the arms and both the legs are straight. Then turn the head and look up to the left thumb. Then inhale and come up. And turn the right foot in and turn the left foot out. See that the knee and the ankle and the thigh are all in a straight line. Extend the arms to the side, roll the shoulders back. And inhale, extend the side trunk and go to Trikonasana. Keep the right hand on the waist. With the elbow bent, then turn the chest and turn the waist towards the ceiling. Then extend the right arm up in line with the shoulder. Both the arms and both the legs are straight. Turn the head and look up at the right thumb. Then inhale and come up. Turn the left foot in and inhale, exhale and jump back to Tadasana. That's okay. Then keep the Tadasana. Okay. Stand in Tadasana, toes feet together, roll the shoulders back, extend the arms along the trunk. Look straight forward. Now bring the arms in front of the chest. Slightly bend the knees. Inhale and exhale and jump and spread the legs apart. Keep the center of the torso and the center of the chest in one vertical line, straight. Then turn the right leg out. Keep the, keep the chest the center in the center. Extend the arms and then bend your right leg to a right angle. And see that the knee, keep the knee in line with the ankle. The tie has to be parallel to the floor and the shin bone perpendicular. Turn the head and look at the right arm. 
and keep the chest well lifted. Now inhale and straight to the leg. And turn the right foot in and turn the left foot out. Keep the trunk in the center. Extend both the arms to the side and exhale and bend the left knee to a right angle. The knee should be in line with the ankle. Keep the thigh parallel to the floor and the shin bone vertical. Keep the trunk in the center. Both the arms are extended. Then turn the head to the left side. Look with the right, uh, look to the left arm. And then inhale and come up. Turn the left foot in. Inhale, exhale and jump back to Tadasana. Roll the shoulders back. Extend the arms. Keep the knees lifted, head straight and in the center. Stand in Tadasana, toes, feet together, ankles together. Keep the kneecap well lifted, roll the shoulders back and extend the arms downwards. Look straight ahead, then bring the palms in front of the chest. Slightly bend your knees, lift the chest upwards, then inhale and exhale and jump four feet apart. Turn the toes slightly in and extend the arms to the side. Keep the chest well lifted, head straight, look straight forwards. Now keep the hands on the waist. Turn the right leg out to 90 degrees and the left leg turn in to 60 degrees and roll the pelvis from the left to the right side. Keep the chest well lifted and the elbows close up. Now, bend the right knee to a right angle of 90 degrees. Do not bend the left leg. The left leg, the back leg has to remain straight. Lift the chest upwards, roll the shoulders back and then extend the arms to the side and turn the palms to the ceiling and extend the arms up to Urdhva Namaskarasan. Bring the palms together, keep the elbows straight and then look up towards the palm and keep the chest lifted. Then look again straight forwards, bring the arms to the side, keep the hands on the waist and straighten the right knee and turn the right leg back to the center, come back to the center and turn the left leg out to 90 degrees and right leg in to 60 degrees. Keep the right leg straight. Do not bend the right leg. Roll the shoulders back and keep the chest well lifted. Now bend the left knee to a right angle. Keep the knee and the ankle in one vertical straight line. Keep the chest well lifted. Look straight forwards. Extend the arms to the side. Turn the palms to the ceiling and extend the arms up to Urdhva Namaskarasana. Press the palms together and keep the elbows straight and then look up towards the palm with the chest well lifted. Then bring the head forward, bring the arms to the side, turn the palms down towards the floor and then keep the hands on the waist Straighten the left leg and turn the left foot in, come back to the center and inhale, exhale and jump back to Tadasana.
shoulder straight. Keep the chest well lifted. Extend the arms down. Now bring the arms in front of the chest. Inhale, bend the knees slightly and exhale and jump and keep the legs straight apart for feet. Turn the feet slightly in and keep the, top, the, the knees well lifted. Now keep the hands on the waist, roll the shoulders back and exhale and try and bend the trunk forwards from the waist. Lift the chest and lift the sternum and then keep the hands on the floor in line with the feet and look up, bring the chest forwards, open the chest and then exhale and place the head down on the floor. Bring the elbows closer and press the palms firmly on the floor. Now come up, lift up, look up with your head, look up, then lift the chest and then slowly come up, bring the hands on the waist and come up and jump back to Tadasana. Keep the feet together. Adho Mukha Shvarnasana. Adho Mukha Shvarnasana. Place your palms on the floor. Spread the palms properly, open the fingers properly and see that both the hands are aligned with each other. Not one hand forwards, one hand backwards. So both the palms aligned. And then slowly lift the knees away from the floor. And keep a distance between the feet and the arms and the palms of three or four feet at least. Lift the heels up. Stretch your knees, stretch your thighs up, keep your elbows straight and then bring the heels down. Lengthen the calf muscles down and become tall in the trunk. Elbows straight, knees straight, extend the side trunk. Now exhale and go to Udva Mukha Svanasa, look forward, roll the shoulders back and keep the knees straight. And exhale, go back to Adho Mukha Svanasa, Keep the elbows straight, keep the knees straight, keep the sides of the trunk well extended. Exhale and go to Uddhva Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, Uddhva Mukha Svanasana. Keep the knees and the elbows straight. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. And then look forwards and walk forwards with the feet. Come and go forwards and keep the hands on the hips, need to keep the knees straight, roll the shoulders back, inhale and come up and stand in Tadasana. Extend the arms down. Tadasana, with the legs stretched out, keep the thighs, feet, toes together and pointing the ceiling. Sit exactly on the buttock bones and see that the weight is evenly distributed on both the buttocks. Press the back of the knees down towards the floor and place the hands by the sides of the hips with the arms straight and roll the shoulders back. Lift the spine, lift the abdomen and lift the trunk. Lift the sternum towards the head and keep the neck on the head straight and look straight in eye level. Then inhale and raise the arms up to Urdhva Hasta Dandasana. And see that the upper arms come in line with the ears. Keep the elbows straight the palms facing each other, fingers extend well. 
Then exhale and bring the arms forwards and clap, clap the big toes with the thumb and the first two fingers. Keep the elbows straight, make the back concave, move the dorsal spine into the body, lift the sternum, keep the collarbones wide and extend the neck, take the head up and look back. Then release the hands and come back to Mudra Hastasana and bring the hands down to Dandasana. Pandakonasana. Bend the legs one at a time. Take the knees out to the side and the heels towards the perineum. Press the soles of the feet together and see that you can take the heels closer to the perineum. Widen the knees away from the hips and down towards the floor. Interlock the fingers and collapse the fingers around the feet. Sit straight with the spine erect. Lift the chest and roll the shoulders back. Then release the hands and stretch the legs out again in Dandasana. Take one leg at a time out to the side to Upavishta Konasana. Now you have to turn around, you have to turn, turn around face the front and stretch, spread the right leg to the side and then the left leg to the side to Upavishta Konasana. And widen the distance between the two legs. Make sure that the middle thigh, the middle of the knee and the center of the foot are exactly facing the ceiling. Keep the back of the thighs, the knees and the calf muscles pressing down. And place the hands by the sides of the hips and lift the spine, lift the chest and roll the shoulders back. Look straight ahead and then bring the legs again back to Dandasana. Sit in Svastikasana. Bend the right knee, take first the right foot in and then the left foot under the thigh. And roll the metatarsals towards the floor. The cross of the shin bone should be exactly in the center of the body in line with the navel and the sternum. Keep the spine erect and roll the shoulders back. Head straight. Then again stretch the legs to Dandasan. And now bend the left leg first in. And then the right leg. Roll the metatarsals on the floor. Keep the toes soft. Keep your fingertips, your palms on the sides of the hips. Extend the trunk, extend the spine. Roll the shoulders back. Keep the head straight and look in eye level. And then again slowly extend the legs to Dandasana. Then Pashva coming to Pashva Dandasana. Again, bend your right leg to Svastikasana. Bend the left leg. Also, in, sit straight. Roll the shoulders back. 
Now extend the right arm up. Extend the right side trunk and bring the right hand over the left middle thigh and take the left hand back almost near the right bandha. Be straight in the center. Extend the spine upwards. Roll the shoulders back. Keep the head in the, uh, straight. The chin in line with the sternum. Lift the chest. Roll the shoulders back. Inhale and then exhale and turn to the left side. Keep the trunk in the center. Keep the side trunk well lifted, roll the shoulders back, inhale, lift the chest and exhale and turn. Inhale, lift the chest, roll the shoulders back, exhale and turn. And then come back to the center, adjust your pose, keep the spine erect, roll the shoulders back. Spine well lifted. Now inhale, extend the left arm. Bring the left arm over the right middle thigh. Right hand behind the left buttock. B, keep the trunk in the center. Roll the shoulders back. Lift the chest upwards. Keep the head straight. Inhale, lift the chest and exhale and jump. Do not turn the head, do turn the trunk. Again, inhale, lift the spine, lift the chest, exhale and turn. And again, inhale, lift the spine, exhale and turn. And come back to the center and extend both the legs to Dandasana. Feet together, toes together. Keep the palms near the hips, roll the shoulders back, Pashwa Dandasana. Extend the right arm up, extend the right side trunk, exhale and bring the right hand on the middle of the left thigh, the left hand behind the right buttock, sit straight and roll the shoulders back. Keep the head in the center, looking eye level, and then inhale, lift the chest, exhale and turn to the left side. Turn the abdomen and turn the chest, roll the shoulders back. Then inhale, come back to the center, sit straight, roll the shoulders back, lift the chest upwards. Extend the left arm, extend the left side trunk and then bring the left arm over the right middle thigh and the right arm stay going back towards the left buttock, hold the shoulders back, inhale, lift the chest, lift the spine, exhale and turn. Keep the head in the center. Line chin in line with the sternum, do not turn the head, learn to turn the trunk and then inhale, come back to the center. Hold the shoulders back, lift the chest upwards. Nandasana, hold the shoulders back, look straight ahead, keep the knees straight and the chest well lifted. Now get up, bring the chair for Paratvachasana on the chair. Sit on the side of the chair, keeping the legs slightly apart the shin bones vertical. Lift the spine, roll the shoulders back, look straight ahead and then inhale, extend the arms up, 
Palms are facing each other and then exhale and turn the trunk towards the backrest of the chair. And you're holding the backrest of the chair, roll the shoulders back, be in the center, lift the chest and exhale and turn the trunk. Then again, roll the shoulders back, lift the chest upwards, exhale and turn. Then inhale, come back to the center, inhale, extend the arms up and bring the arms down and change to the other side. Keep the legs slightly apart, sit straight, spine erect, inhale, extend the arms up, extend the side one, palms are facing each other. Keep the elbows straight and now exhale, turn to the backrest of the chair and hold the backrest of the chair. Roll the shoulders back, lift the chest upwards and see if you can keep the both the chest in line with each other. Shoulders back, inhale, lift the chest, exhale and turn. Keep and rolling the shoulders back. Lift the chest, roll the shoulders back, inhale and exhale. Then come back to the center, inhale, extend the arms up and bring the arms down and come up from the chair. And we are going for Uotva Prasarita Padasan with the legs to the wall. Sit sideways, bend your knees and then lie down on your back and turn around and extend the legs up on the wall. Try to keep the legs together, knees straight and see that the buttock and the back of the legs are touching the wall. Roll the shoulders back, keep the chest slightly lifted, the arms are extended to the side and the elbows are bent in line with the shoulders. Keep the shoulders rolling back, head in the center and slowly close your eyes. Relax the facial muscles and relax the facial skin. Let go completely. Be quiet. Normal inhalation, normal exhalation. With closed eyes, observe your inhalation, observe your exhalation. Be quiet. Do not allow any thought to come from outside. Be with yourself, be calm and quiet. Then slowly bend your knees into the chest and turn to the right side. Push yourself away from the floor, bend your right elbow, use your right elbow as a pillow. The left arm is pressing against the floor. Slowly open the eyes, look into the floor and come up and lie down in Shavasana. Sit down in the center of the bed and keep the knees slightly bent. The feet are flat on the floor. Then slowly lower the trunk down to rest on the bent elbows. And then carefully with the chest lifted, bring the torso to rest down in a straight line on the floor.
Then straighten the legs one by one. Extend the back of the leg. Extend the heels and have the legs together and the feet together. Release any hold, any tightness in the legs and let the feet drop out to the sides. Rest the extended arms by the sides of the trunk at the angle of 60 degrees away from the trunk. Rotate the upper arms, the elbows and the wrists so that the palms facing the ceiling. Make sure that the head rests in the center part of the back of the skull. If the head is thrown back, you will need a blanket, a folded blanket under the head. And when you are using the blanket, see that the blanket should touch the shoulders so that the whole neck is supported by the blanket. Then slowly close your eyes, bring your upper eyelids towards the lower eyelids. Let go yourself, let lose yourself completely. Release the facial muscles, release the facial skin. No frowning on the forehead. Release the forehead skin from the hairline down towards the eyebrows. And then from the eyebrows, spread the skin from the center of the forehead to the sides of the temple of the forehead. So right side to the right side, left side to the left side. Eyelids quiet, pupils of the eyes quiet. The lower lips away from the upper lips, the lower jaw away from the upper jaw. The tip of the tongue is resting on the lower belly. The sides of the tongue soft, do not clinch the teeth. Relax the throat, relax yourself completely, release the facial muscles, release the facial skin. Let go yourself, let lose yourself completely. Keeping the fingers soft, do not tighten the fingers. It's like you're holding a flower with your fingers, with your hands. Slowly inhale, slowly exhale. Slowly inhale, slowly exhale. Watch your breath, feel your breath, observe your breath, be with your breath, let go yourself, let lose yourself completely. Be calm and quiet. Even the eyeballs, they should go deeper and deeper towards the back of the head. As the head is resting on the floor, so the eyeballs should rest on the back of the head. So the eyeballs are penetrating deeper and deeper towards the back of the head. Even the abdomen. Do not puff the abdomen like a balloon. Let the abdomen be seen towards the spine. Be calm and quiet. Normal inhalation, normal exhalation. Then slowly bend your elbows one by one. Bring your arms on the torso and then slowly bend your legs one by one. Quietly, do not disturb your relaxation when you are bending your legs. Then turn completely to the right side. Use your right arm as a pillow. Or bend your elbow. Never turn on the left side because from Shavasana you have to come all the time up from the right side. Then slowly open your eyes. Look into the floor. Be quiet there. Don't look here and there. Just be quiet looking and not looking. 
and then with the exhalation, come up, look into the floor, and come up and sit again in Svastikasa. Sit straight, roll the shoulders back, you can rest your hands on the thighs, shoulders roll back, chest well lifted, and just be quiet over there, do not drop the chest, keep the chest lifted, keep the chest wider to the side, and roll the shoulders back, and be quiet over there. Keep the eyes soft, normal breaths, normal inhalation, normal exhalation, wide inhalation, wide exhalation. 